In this lesson, we will learn how to distinguish between equal and equivalent sets. Two sets, A and B, are equal if they have exactly the same members. In this case, we write down A is equal to B. If A and B are not equal, we write down A does not equal to B. Equivalent sets, or one-to-one -one correspondence, are those that have the same number of elements, regardless of what those elements are. Now, if that's confusing to you, let's go through some problems. In the first question, we have which pairs of sets are equal? We have a set consisting of these companies and another set consisting of those companies. Both sets contain exactly the same elements. Neither the order nor the repetition of elements is important here. Therefore, the two sets are equal. In question B, we have two sets, A and B, and this one consists of all X values where we have citizens of the United States, and in B, X values are those that were born in the United States. Now, of course, you can be a citizen of the US even though you weren't born there. You may have immigrated there. Because of this, they're not equal. Think about it. You may have been born elsewhere and you immigrated to the States, so you'd belong in set A as an element there. But you wouldn't be an element in set B. You can also think of another example. Someone who was born in the United States, but is no longer a citizen of the United States. Maybe they are an expatriate, or they have denounced their citizenship. This is why they're not equal. Let's try another example. Which of the following pairs of sets are equal? So we have this set consisting of A, B, C, and D. This one consisting of D, B, A, C, D, C. There are elements that are in common here. A, A, B, B, C, and C. We have two of them. And these two Ds, they're equal. These sets are equal because they contain the same elements. To determine if they're equivalent, well, let's remove some of the repeating elements. We have D, B, A, and C. As you can see, there is a one-to-one -one correspondence, so they're also equivalent. Look at the next example. These sets are clearly not equal, but they are equivalent because they can be placed in a one-to-one -one correspondence. So there are three here and three elements there. There you have it. That is how to distinguish between equal and equivalent sets.